Ava. Hi. Is it more interesting to read when you know that you're ranking the books for a tournament? Like, is it fun to take on the challenge of which book is going to come out on top and be better? Or is it actually add a little bit of layer of stress to the whole reading process? It's a little bit of stress and a little bit of fun because um, I just, I don't like comparing books that much. But Why? Like, I really don't know. It just doesn't. Like when I have to and I just, and I want to, I do it. Just I, I agree with you. I don't like comparing books either. People just, say, "What's your favorite book?" and I get stressed out. Like I just like reading books, not comparing them. But when I have to, and I like, like sometimes I feel like to, and I do it. But not all the time. Mostly, I just like reading books. It would be pretty horrible to have to go through life making sure you rank every single book you read to see which one is the best. Sometimes we just want to read a book and not worry about which one was best. But sometimes if you have a small group of books, it's fun to make them battle it out. Yeah. Like one, one of those easy books to read, like a small chapter book like Roper. Oh. Okay, thanks. Hi, Corey. Hi. I'm a little bit worried so far that reading eight books and putting them into a tournament makes us not like the books as much as if we just read them for fun because we're trying to vote for our favorites. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to say that once you have a favorite in your head, I'm worried that because you know it's a tournament, you're not willing to like other books as much because you want your favorite to win. Well, that's not really what I'm doing. I'm just basing it on how much I like. I'm not just trying to make one book win. Like I have oh, that makes me relieved. Two, um, books that I want to win. What do you think is going to happen to a book that's in the middle of the sequence. So the books that you read first you tend to remember really well and the books that you read last you'll remember well. What about like the books that you read in the middle of the year? Is there a way we're going to be able to remember them clearly enough? Do you think they're just going to get... If you really like them then you'd pr definitely remember them or something that was really like heartfelt or really was funny or something like that, yeah, I bet you would remember and probably remember the book that it was from. So the emotions help us remember the books. Yes. Yeah. So Nathan, tell me how you feel about the tournament or the battle of the books. I don't really like the tournament because I like to read books for fun on their own without having to slice books out of the tournament. Cause I may like one just a little better than another, but that means I have to slice the other right out of the tournament without giving You wish chance. they all could win. Yes. Well, maybe not all of them. Not all of them. <laughs> most of them. Okay, thank you. Could you go to Mr. Fish and say, yes. Mr. Fish, I have a book to recommend to you. Yes. Which one would you recommend? Firefly Hollow. You would? You think your class would like to hear that book out loud? Yes. Thank you. Have you been surprised by a book that you liked in the fact that, judging from the cover, you didn't think it was going to be very good, but when you read it, you actually kind of liked it? Uh, yes. Roper. Oh. Good to know. Thanks, Nathan. Hi, Ryan. Hi. Thanks for being in book club and agreeing to read eight books with us this year. It was a lot of books. You've been pretty vocal so far that you liked The Small Adventures of Popeye and Elvis a lot. Mm -hmm. Did that book interest you enough to read another book by the same author? Yes, I actually read one. You did? Mm -hmm. You ended up reading Owen oh, Jester. Yes. What did you think of that one? I thought it was better than Popeye's. <gasps> Well, that is high praise indeed. Are you surprised that a book whose cover was awesome you didn't like as well? Yeah. 
like was there any any covers there that you saw and you thought wow this cover looks great i am gonna love that yeah, book i thought night sky dragons was gonna be really cool because of the fire setting but it turned out to be very boring oh okay then sometimes the covers surprise us thank you ryan have you compared any of our battle books to a classroom read aloud that your teacher chose yes i've been comparing Oh. Which we just finished, and now we have Kind of Star. Do you think you like Wonder better than the ones that we've read? Um, some of them. Some of the books were better than Wonder? Um, and some were. Okay. So it isn't the fact that when a teacher reads a book out loud to you, it can make you feel like I don't know, that you understand it or imagine it better? No, actually when I read the words off the page, it makes me, it, it, I just visualize it better. Ooh, good word, visualize. Thanks, Rhea. Hi, Deanna. Hi. I wonder if our number rubrics for how we judge the books will come out to be a different winner than what we pick off the tournament bracket. It could be possible. It could be possible. It'll be curious. I'll be curious to see what happens. Is there uh, one book that surprised you by you liked it more than you thought you would when you looked at the cover? I think Drita. I think the, the cover looks kind of basic, but once you get inside the book, it gets really interesting. Good to know. Do you have a favorite that you're rooting for right now that's in your head? Mm, or a couple of them? Maybe I'm not the blue genie because it um, has a lot of fantasy in it and it can help kids' imaginations a lot. Thank you. Hi, Vivian. Hi. I was wondering how you felt about the Battle of the Books process so far. Well, I really liked it because all the books have like different genres, which makes it interesting. Oh, you mean they're different styles of books? Yeah. Okay. Um, have you met a favorite character yet in one of the books? Um, probably um, the Firefly from I forgot his name because he, um, he relates to me like being so adventurous and trying to do something new. Nice. Now, is Firefly Hollow also your favorite book so far? Yeah. So that's interesting. So you can have a favorite book overall, but a different favorite main character. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I like that. Hi, Cameron. Hi. You were saying something interesting before. You were saying that you thought it would be cool if two characters from the different books could meet each other. Yeah, I kind of thought it would be cool if Elvis and Emma could meet because they both went on an adventure in their book. <coughs> so it might be fun for them to go on an adventure together. Wow, I wonder if Emma would bring Genie Magic with her to Elvis's creek. That would be interesting to have a genie show up in the forest and the stream where they were playing in Popeye and Elvis. Yeah, and it would be, if um, Emma was in the book with them, it would be cool because if she used her magic, she could make, have Elvis's drunk stay so they, um, Popeye could still have a friend in the neighborhood. Ah, nice thought. Who would you want to be friends with out of all of characters in the books that you read? Is there anybody there who you'd um, want to be friends with? Maybe Maxie because she's stuck up for um, Drita. So oh, because she was a good friend? Mm -hmm. She was pretty brave. Yeah. She seemed like a tough person. Mm -hmm.
So tell me about filling out the bracket, because I was hearing some really funny comments. I heard people say that this decision was impossible. Impossible. It was. Some, some of them, them were. Yeah. I don't know what. She was putting the worst books against each other. Yeah. And the best books books my books brain against was against killing me. The best books yes. books My brain already killed, killed me. The best yeah. and the best. Books like, I'm still it's trying to horrible. figure out. It's cat horrible. Cat like, deciding and I think cats. Out. Cat, yeah. Cat. So, it was exciting filling out the bracket. No. 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 But you seem awfully excited. So why is it thumbs down? Can I have one voice explain why? Because you put the best books against the best books and the worst books against the worst books and the best books against the but worst books. And there's always the best books on one side and the worst on the other. Yes, yeah, I, I agree. Sometimes the best and the worst books are okay. So, Corey, only like one matchup with the worst. Corey, you're the saying best. that you came to your final decision in the first round because... The best books were on the same side of the bracket. Yeah. Okay. And Vivian, you had told me what you had already decided what your favorite was before you even started. Yeah. So Cat why and was it? So why was it so hard to fill out the bracket? Because I have like a tie between Cat and Firefly, but I like Cat a little bit better. And sometimes Cat and Firefly were against each other in the back the bracket, which is really hard. Hmm. Well, sometimes I like I liked Eight Class Pets and Firefly Hollow a lot. So I let some of them win to, like, I think I had eight class pets win twice in Firefly. Oh, so you changed your top answer from bracket to bracket? Yes. Yeah. I did the same. I don't, I, 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 I just like cat. the whole idea of, like, putting, 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 out. Oh, I, yeah, like why not? putting two good books together and then trying tearing to, one out. Just, I have they're all good, good books. I have, I have, you don't get a chance. Time. I have a different win on every single side except for one that I... Either choose cat or um, firefly. I really care. <laughs> it's just so hard. It's, it's pretty much yeah, cat caught everything. Pretty cat much in the middle because two of the best books were together, or the and worst. They're, and they're and all you don't, really good books. And you don't know which Not one, of which of the worst yeah, to choose, or which of the best to choose. Yeah, so I like this one out. Some of the times it's like, hard. It'd be more good, but then when you put it against another, ends up getting eliminated out. Hi, Ava. So you began our movie, and now you're the last person to end our movie. And it turns out that the winner of the individual rubrics is a different winner than the tournament brackets. Can you talk to me about which one you liked better? Well, I liked filling them out. Um, I like filling them out because like, I got to see all the books at the same time, and like it was just like more funner, and I was just like it was just a little mixing up for me, but it was still really fun. The tournament brackets, you mean? Yeah. So the tournament brackets were fun because you could see all eight books at the same time. Yeah. So when we did the rubrics, we had certain prompts that we had to be, was the book heartfelt or funny or was there a good teacher message in it? But when we did the brackets, we didn't really have those guides, right? We could just do our own opinion. Yeah, like, it's like almost like we never read the book, but we actually read the book like to get a little gist of it, and we need to, so we know we like, can take the full thing. So, it was easier and more fun to do the bracket in the tournaments because you can just do your opinions yeah. and not the gist of the book. All right, thanks for your time, Ava. <laughs> All right, teachers and families, I hope this has convinced you that doing a tournament of books is easy and fun. So pick your own titles and battle it out.